you can start recording your PC screen just like I'm doing right now within the next couple of minutes. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and click on the link in the description and it's going to take you to streamlabs.com and it's basically a recording and streaming software built directly from the Streamlabs OBS open source software. Now it's basically been made even better with more features and it runs 25% quicker on your PC as well so you'll notice performance increase. If we scroll to the bottom of the website, there's going to be a little chart here and it's basically going to show how it compares to the other rivals that you may have heard of. So once we've got Streamlabs OBS downloaded and installed, it's going to look something like this. Now I'm currently using it to record my desktop, so it does look a bit trippy. Um, but basically what you want to do is go ahead and create a profile on the software and that's going to allow you to capture your desktop. And to do this, we're going to go ahead and click on this plus sign here and you want to go ahead and create a new scene. Once you've created a new scene, you need to go ahead and make sure it's selected. And then where it says sources, you want to go ahead and click on this uh, plus button here. And it's going to go ahead and give you a few options of what you want to go ahead and capture. So it depends on your needs, but what I like to do is go ahead and make a display capture, which is what I'm doing now. So it records the whole desktop as I'm seeing it. But if you want to go ahead and click on a game capture, or you can go ahead and use a window capture if you want to record a specific window or a specific game instead of showing your whole desktop. So you just need to go ahead and click on the source you want, go ahead and click on add the source. So once you've done that, we're pretty much halfway there and you should see a desktop within the software. What you want to do now is go ahead and click on the settings icon in the top right hand corner. Then you want to go ahead and click on output and we're just going to go ahead and change a few settings. So you want to make sure that you're on advanced output mode here. And you want to minimise the streaming tab because we're not going to be focused on that today. Now where it says the recording settings here, you just want to go ahead and copy all of my settings. Uh, I'm not going to go through it all in this video, you can always go ahead and watch another one if you'd like. Um, but these settings are what I use and you can get really good quality for really good speeds. Now here in the recording section, this is going to be the Kodak that's going to be used to record your videos. Now if you haven't got this setting, just make sure it's on the software times 264 setting and then that should be good enough. Then want to go ahead and click on audio and again just want to go ahead and copy my settings and where it says mic slash auxiliary device you want to make sure that it's uh, selected on the microphone you want to use once you've done that you want to go ahead and click on video and again just copy my settings that i've got here now you can change your uh, fps if you want here i like to use 30 fps because i mainly only record desktop videos but if you're recording games i recommend using 60. once you've done that all you need to do is go ahead and select this little record icon here and it will start glowing like mine is and that means you're recording your desktop successfully. So this wasn't a super in-depth tutorial, it only covers the basics, but this video should get you set up and started right away. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like and pass it on to someone who may find it helpful as well. If you do have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as possible. So thank you so much for watching and have a good day.